Hi, my name is Maz, and this is about how I got my one and only Valentine's card. So back when I was a senior in grade 12, I used to be a prefect, which is the same as being on the student council. As part of our responsibilities, we needed to showcase how we can effectively manage school events, the biggest of which was the prom. The prom ain't cheap, and we needed ways to raise our funds for the event. And what was the best way for us to get money for the prom? <laughs> That's right. Give us your money! What? Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 it wasn't mugging. That was our second best way. It was actually up to the Valentine's committee to raise the most money for the prom. And you may have guessed it, but I, along with my fellow prefect Beverly, were in charge of such a crucial committee. Now, it may not sound like much, but this Valentine's committee was absolutely essential within our school. Because imagine that you're a poor soul in love with this handsome dude that everybody seems to like. You've been trying to get Senpai to notice you for ages, but you just can't. And then Finally, the long-awaited Valentine's Day comes rolling around. What do you do now? Psh, what? You're gonna walk up to him and give him your chocolate with flowers and say, Hey, I like you. <laughs> Get her! Oh god, no! Ah! Oh god, please! <gasps> Disgusting! Hey, I'm sorry to say this, but you did this to yourself. Because what you should have done is use the anonymous service provided by the Valentine's Committee. Beverly and I would organize a bunch of senior students to dress up in togas, pink lipsticks, wings, and send them off to go from classroom to classroom to spread the romantic festivities. Not only that, but for a low, low price of a dollar, you could get your love letter delivered anonymously to another student. That way you could totally prank your bro friends and get them a Valentine's card to show them how much you appreciate them. But, but not like in a romantic way or anything. <laughs> Baka. And for some extra dollars, we would even add a rose and a Valentine's themed lollipop to really spice it up. And if you're even more desperate, <coughs> sorry, I mean dedicated, you could pay more so that our certified guitarist, singers, and dancers would essentially serenade the person that you're choosing. Isn't that lovely? Wait. You really want me to sing this? Like, legit, You are you serious? Because you, you paid good money for this and I didn't want you to- Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay. <clears throat> but you didn't have to cut! Now, it may seem like it was all fun and dandy, and to be honest, it actually was, but it was equally a ton of hard work. On the form for the anonymous message, people were meant to write their intended person to deliver to, which class they would be in, and their specific message. But see, as the leaders in charge, we ended up seeing almost all of the Valentines that came through. And to be honest, this was like a constant stream of tea. And I loved every second of it. Bro, stacy has been sending roses to like 12 dudes. <laughs> Ooh, Alex is sending Valentine's to Maria when he's with Eliza. Bro, don't even get me started on Sophie. Wait, Sophia, wh why are you sending my mom a Valentine's card? Tu madre y yo. Compartimos una noche que nunca podría olvidar. <laughs> but the downside of this abuse of power was that we could also see who sent valentines to each other. Beverly had gotten some here or there, but I had yet to see one for me. And sure, that may sound kind of sad, but I had been around seven or eight different schools during my entire educational life, so I was used to never getting any. Besides, the schooling year started in January for us, so it wasn't a personal thing for me. It was more logical like, yeah, why would anybody send Valentine's to a new kid who they've barely known for a month, you know? And honestly, it didn't really bother me at that point, especially because I had my hands full just trying to plan and organize the Valentine's delivery. It was so hectic that I legit forgot to dress up in the togas that the rest of the committee members had worn. And so there's actually a picture out there of all the seniors in colorful reds, pinks, and whites, and then this random brown kid in the back wearing his school uniform. So suffice to say, I had completely forgotten about my lack of letters. But what I didn't realize was that Beverly, my partner, had noticed that as well. And it may have been because it was our final year, or maybe because of how Seneca had gotten, or maybe because she was thankful for my contributions. But she took a little pity on me. Because on the last day, when all the deliveries had been sent, I was surprised to see that there was a singular letter there waiting for me. And inside it read, Dear Maz, thank you for being my partner and working hard for today. You did great. Beverly. <laughs> the funny thing is, she actually spelled my name wrong on the Valentine's card. But I didn't care. 
I had never received a Valentine's card before. And the fact that she had noticed it and decided to write one for me on my last school Valentine's Day was just too considerate. And I was so touched by such a genuinely kind gesture that I didn't even care about the mistake. Because despite Valentine's Day running like clockwork, having positive reception, and being financially successful, this, my one and only love letter, was what made that day special for me. Thanks, Beverly. I really do appreciate what you did. And I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. What makes this even sweeter is the fact that Beverly and I weren't even friends. Like sure, we had a lot of responsibilities together and we were prefects, but I don't think she would have ever called me a friend, you know? Isn't that the sweetest? <laughs> it warms my heart every time I remember this story. Alright, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a meme of a comment, and consider supporting me by grabbing some of that swanky merchandise, having me on Patreon, or joining my channel as a channel member. Alright, ladies everybody, and stay amazing.